Haikyuu Season 2, Episode 10. Yeah, that's, that's real, really rough. Thorny path, not what we're used to. But they seem to be in pretty good spirits about it. I think they see what I see. Coach just turns out to be a, a drunk bully. Yeah, yeah, I think we're all on the same page here. That's a cool metaphor. Each of them playing a pivotal, pivotal role. Being the best cogs they can be. When it all comes together, it's going to be a great watch. <laughs> great clock. You're speaking coach's language. <laughs> Here we go, the final match. This is going to be so, so key for their motivation, their mentality. This is the culmination of a lot of pain. You want to see it pay off so badly. This has different stakes than usual. It's not quite tournament stakes, but it's like their hearts at stake, kind of. To a certain extent, at least, you know. They're not quitters. But I can just imagine how much a win here would do for their spirits. When it clicks, you know, like, ah, oh, it's working. I mean, I think as good as success feels and as good as winning a championship would feel, just in terms of the, the human heart, human mind, there really is something to the idea that it's not about the destination, but the journey. Feeling like you're making progress is 95% of it. It's almost as good as a final victory. There's something like a like this binary zone where everything on, on one side is just zero it's nothing like all this pain would be nothing but if you can get to the point where you cross the line and it's something now you have something real and tangible to work with it's like you have a lever on on the world and you've established some kind of leverage that you can pull and then it's just about pulling with all your might that's when it becomes like a downhill thing i think and everything before that is just faith and struggle not knowing pain you're not sure if it's worth it any of it. I think half the battle is just having enough faith and determination to get to that point. Because that's where it becomes really exciting and fun. They can establish this win. They know they've got something. Episode 10, Cogs. Great title. I'm expecting an exhibition of all their new talents. Starting with a jump serve. Oh. Nice. So he's practiced against them. I mean, they're the best team here, right? So, and it w I mean, it wouldn't be satisfying if it wasn't a huge challenge. Oh, look at Suki with the sort of quick. Come on, I got. Ah, oh, it's three of you. Damn it. <laughs> That's pretty great. I gotta give it to him. Well, they're the we're the scavengers, right? We're picking all this up, just taking bits and pieces of every team. It's such great spirits, all of them. Oh, this is this is filling me with such emotional panic. To see Hinata and Kageyama, that's really the key thing here. Well, that's the area of most drama. Most other people are doing kind of individual pursuits. The special move. Well, what was it? Show us what you got. Here it is, here it is. Tip. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, we've seen that before. Now he's learned it. He's leveled up. More of a mind game. <laughs> you enjoy their pain and misery and suffering. Now you're looking down at them. <laughs> That's so great. Oh man, I can feel it. That's glorious. Who's short now? Yeah, I love just towering over you. Very bold claim. Not even one. Alright, not bad, not bad. Alright, not they're playing a high-level game right now. It's fun. How confident is he in his new skill? His water bottle skill? He's focused. He's in the zone. <laughs> oh, they're linking up. They're doing great. It's a big leap of faith. Big leap of faith here. Do it. Go for it. 
Believe in yourself. Oh no, he's overthinking it in mid mid hit. All this is happening in like a millisecond. Do it. Do it. We all want you to do it. There it is. Oh, he nailed it. It's gonna stop right there. Oh, <laughs> hell yeah. Oh man, so satisfying. Turning point. Turning point. Everyone knows it. You all feel it. It's a little awkward, no? <laughs> Alright, awkwardness out the window. All the bad blood, all the bad air just cleared in one second. <laughs> First linking of two cogs. My confidence has been totally restored in life. <laughs> It, it like has extra weight, to me at least, than all the other players and what they've been doing. Not to take anything away from Suki or Asahi or Nishinoya, but just the fact that it's a two-person effort, it requires synchronicity. And the fact that it was super risky because they had to undo the skill that was carrying carrying the team up until this point. So that's an enormous payoff. You get to see it again. We're all tied up too. I'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, coach is bummed, as he should be. Yeah, if you're doing things right, people don't know you've done anything at all. They don't realize how much how much work they put into it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. They were very supportive. They always believed. This poor girl, <laughs> she just really like <laughs> was traumatized by that. She's been carrying this weight this whole time for three weeks, unable to do anything except wait. And then pose, duo pose. We got a game to play, guys. <laughs> like, <laughs> they have a superpower of being able to stop games for dramatic moments. What? なんで常に新しくなっていかなくちゃ商用についていけなくなるあの天才一年セッターでさえ一瞬立ち止まっただけで見抜かれたいやミッドジャンプアメイシングでケマカットダットナッツスプリットセカンドテイヨカソレどん
You know what they're reminding me of actually now? With all the tools they have at their disposal, they're reminding me of Alba Josai. A big problem for Karasuno in that game, in that matchup in the tournament, was that they just couldn't get their footing because Alba Josai kept using new techniques and new strategies and new tools. In that perspective, Karasuno's arsenal has expanded so greatly since then. That scavenging comment turned out to be really accurate, appropriate. <laughs> All we're missing now is a like a pump up squad, a cheer squad. Damn, look at them! It's a sh just a showcase, it's an exhibition, and talent. It's all tied up. Yeah, that's true. You never know. Yeah, they've been putting a lot of pressure on him. Oh, hi. Yeah, neutralize their biggest weapon. Oh, the atmosphere is totally different to the two teams right now. They're on their back foot. <laughs> One of these teams is having a lot more fun than the other. It's gonna hit the back wall. Or the net. <laughs> or not even make it. Oh, they have like an emotional weakness. I'm gonna meltdown. They can't, they're not used to losing. If he misses, he's gonna have a meltdown. Just give it to him. Let it be on him. Meltdown it is. Oh no, he's just going for it. Didn't even have to. Don't scavenge this part. We don't need this. For some of this week. Oh! It's alright, it's all worth it. It's all worth it for this. That's an uncomfortable situation for the other teammates to be in. Oh, they know they've been through it before. Emo mode activated. Huh, interesting. I think maybe he wanted you to beg him, but okay. He didn't want it to be that easy. He wanted some protest. Nice. They're getting that underdog advantage right now. They have done nothing but lose. All they have to do here is gain. All they can do is gain. The other team's used to coasting and having having an easy time of it, so they're melting down. I mean, come to think of it, that's probably one of the best things that this team learned in this training arc. You know, they did their skill building, which is essential for raising their upper ceiling, their upper limits, and becoming better. They also learned how to process loss. I mean, they did a lot of that. It was a lot of losing in a very short time, and I don't know, maybe I'm reading into it too much, but I feel like that's partly what's fueling their energy. I mean, a lot of it is the fact that they're connecting. They're seeing their hard work paying off. They just seem totally in sync in a way they never had before, which is amazing. But they made it through this whole camp, suffering 60 losses and three wins for love of the game basically it's like this perfect storm of getting better while also having been humbled it's really exciting even though the match didn't finish here like i thought it would this was a really feel-good episode the tides have definitely shifted it was a lot of darkness high q level darkness which is not really that dark it was kind of like an admirable pain session you know it was inspiring in its way to see them working that hard and keep fighting and stuff but it was definitely a turbulent period and so to see them get it together like this start to ascend start to rise just in time for this training arc to finish whether or not they win i mean i think they they've scored a moral victory here and then presumably leading into a, a new tournament very fun, very exciting.